My name is Kennedy. I'm a junior here at UNCW. My major is tourism, recreation, and sport. I think this major is super awesome and fun and gives us a lot of opportunities and we can all be creative. Hi, my name is Landry and I'm a sophomore at UNCW. My major is tourism, recreation, and sports. I love this major because I've always loved to travel and I think it is such a fun major and the topics in this major are so fun to study. Um, today we're going to be making a Halloween and a Thanksgiving craft and I'm so excited for you all to get to see what the craft looks like. Alright guys, um, so what you're going to do first is cut out um, a turkey body. Um, it helps have a brown piece of paper but if you don't have brown you can always just color it like we did. And then what you're going to do after that is cut out a bunch of turkey feathers um, to go on the side of your turkey. You can use different colors of paper, um, Thanksgiving colors, and then it'll look like that. Hey guys, um, now that you have your turkey body cut out, you wanna attach your feathers. You can just attach them by using a glue stick. So just a glue stick. And then you also wanna cut out turkey feet. Um, we chose yellow for our turkey feet. You can use any color that you'd like. And then you wanna draw on turkey eyes. Um, we drew them on with a black sharpie and you also want to cut out a turkey nose and then on your feathers um, We want you to write down things that you're thankful for. So for example, you could write your family um, friends So I'll show you what it would look like So I wrote family and friends, and then the idea is to have all of your turkey feathers covered with something that you're thankful for. All right guys, we're gonna be moving on to our second craft. Um, this one is our jack-o'-lantern. What you're gonna need is just a paper plate, and you're gonna flip it over, um, and what you're gonna need is a glue stick and some orange and black tissue paper. And what we've been doing is just um, gluing this onto the back of the paper plate and sticking them on like that. And once you have them all um, cut out and glued on, you're going to take your black tissue paper and um, cut out the eyes and nose and mouth and then glue those on once these are dry. Okay, so once you attach your eyes, your nose, and your mouth, then you can take a brown piece of paper. Or if you don't have a brown piece of paper, um, you can just take a white piece of paper, color it brown, and use it for your stem. And then cut out a small green hand and attach it to your stem and that represents the vine and then you have your pumpkin